So guys, I'm back at my PC and I'm still a little bit jet lagged from the USA. I'm not sure if you'd call it jet lagged at this point, but my body clock is all over the place and I'm sleeping in all daytime. I don't know what time zone my body's in right now and I look like a hairy monkey. But what I'd like to do in this video is talk about two new miners from Bitmain. They were being teased all week, uh, but yesterday the, uh, yesterday was the official release of it. The S15 and uh, the T15. Both of these are Bitcoin miners, SHA-256, and they use the 7 nanometer architecture. But if I jump over to my PC, I can show you this uh, in more detail. So this is Bitmain's website, and you can see them being promoted here. This is the S15, which is being promoted. Um, now, if you look here, you can see that the S15 is sold out already. And the T15 now seen estimated shipping December 20th to 31st. So 1475 dollars for the S15, 913 for the T15. You still have to add on customs and shipping and all that kind of stuff. So there it's there. They had a, a note there that was limited to two miners per user. Whether they actually adhere to that for long-term clients, I don't know. Probably not. Um, says here, click here for estimated specifications. It takes you to this page. So there's a high performance mode and an energy saving mode, and it changes from 28 terahashes per second plus or minus 2% to 17. Power consumption, just under 1600 watts plus or minus 7%, takes you down to 850 watts if you're in uh, energy saving mode, and then the power efficiency 57 and 50 for the power saving mode. Now this is the more powerful one, as you would expect, that is more expensive. Um, and then there is the T15. This one has a limit of 50 users. Again, I reckon if you've got enough money, they'll sell you as many as, as you want. And um, yeah, $913. And you can see the terahashes here. So comparison to the other one, 28 and 17. This one is 23 and 20 in energy saving mode. But energy saving mode here is still 1200 watts. 1,541 watts, 67, 60. Um, yeah, so, they, they, you know, from a design point of view, if you look at them, they look pretty much the same. But, I mean, all Bitmain miners look pretty uh, unattractive. Um, if you look on ASIC miner value, now the default setting for ASIC miner value, as you probably know, is 13 cents. And if you look at the S15, you can see that it's at $1.63 per day. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure they've got the T15 there as well. Um, and that's down at 98 cents per day. So that's under a dollar a day. Now, I'm in the UK and I'm realistically paying about 19 kilowatt, uh, cents per kilowatt hour equivalent. And if I search for, I'll start with the S15 again. Um, it's got me at six cents per day as in it's not profitable um, and the T15 is a, a loss so if you buy that and you're in the UK you'll spend all that money and you'll actually lose money now at this point a lot of people will think that well what's the point of this then if this is going to lose you money which I understand but the one thing that I learned well I mean I, I knew this anyway but the, the one thing that you know kind of came to the forefront when I was at, at World CryptoCon was I was in a lot of conversations with with miners and people that were talking to miners and everyone was trying to get basically under three cents. Some people were talking about two and a half cents per kilowatt hour. So the prices here, they're not really marketed towards me or you, any GPU miner, anyone really that's mining at home. These miners are really aimed towards people that have farms. So if I go back and I put in, let's see if I change it to three or even I'll, I'll do, I'll do 0 0.25, so say 2.5 cents per kilowatt hour, certainly one of the most competitive rates you'll get, and you know, there are some people that are paying even less than that, uh, I can't do that, okay, I'll jump to three, I'll jump to three, um, so, whereas the S15's, uh, S15 is like less than a dollar a day in the UK, and at a loss, if um, I get the T15, you can see they are $5.37 per day, and for the T15, you're getting $4.25 per day. That is more like it. And it's important to remember, you know, when big farms buy this kind of equipment, they are buying a crap ton of them. They're not going to be limited to two per order. Let's be honest, they won't be. Certainly the ones, um, you know, this is another thing I heard at the conference. I heard a lot of miners talking about this and they say, yeah, yeah, we get really good discounts from Bitmain. So 
you know, I, I don't have a Bitcoin mining farm, but I, I assume that if I had a, a massive farm and I was spending hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars of equipment, I would get a, a huge discount and I certainly wouldn't be having to adhere to any kind of two units per customer limit. So yeah, these are the new these are the new miners, um, a little bit more efficient than their older ones. And I have no doubt that a lot of Bitcoin farms will be buying them. But if you're a GPU miner, if you're a, you know someone who mines at home, this isn't really going to concern you. But um, yeah, onwards and upwards, you know, we're seeing an evolution, um, you know, of of uh, ASIC miners all the time. Really, we're seeing a lot of them being released all the time. One thing I have noticed though is that. It's good that we're seeing a lot of different competitors. If you look at ASIC, min ASIC miner value, there's a lot of different companies out there that are selling ASIC miners now, but very few of them seem to be able to offer any kind of real competition to Bitmain when it comes to price. And price is, you know, the biggest thing you should really look at. Um, you know, if you're looking at the price, uh, per, you know, uh, from a, a value point of view, from a hash rate point of view, it really is hard to beat Bitmain when you're looking at some of these other miners from other companies. So yeah, I have no doubt that a lot of uh, Bitcoin farms will be buying these, but unless you've got, you know, sub five cents per kilowatt hour, you really won't be looking at these to buy them. So yeah, let me know what you think about it, guys. I'll leave a link to the Bitmain website. You can check it out. I'll leave a link to ASIC Miner Value as well. Let me, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.